must first understand polymers. And before we can understand polymers, we need to understand monomers. Now the definition of a monomer is a molecule that may react chemically or attach to another molecule of the same type in order to form a larger molecule. An example of which being tetrafluoroethylene. A polymer is a chain of these monomers which connect in a process known as polymerization. So therefore, if our monomer from before was to undergo polymerization, it would look like this, Teflon, which you probably know as this. For another example, take a look at this red ball and pretend that it's a monomer. If it were to undergo polymerization, it would look like this. A long ongoing chain of monomers all connected by varying intermolecular bonds. Now that we have learned about polymers in general, we can begin to learn about synthetic polymers. To do so, we are going to look at what makes these polymers synthetic in the first place by comparing them to natural polymers. Natural polymers are chains of monomers that are found naturally in nature. Some examples include cellulose and starch. Comparatively, synthetic polymers are chains of monomers developed by us. Some examples including Kevlar, Synthetic polymers are so special is because of their ability to adapt. When polymers are made, they can be made in almost any way. For example, these plastics they see on your screen are polymers known as polyethylene. Polyethylene can be created with a high density so that its intermolecular forces are strong enough to create strong bonds and in turn create a material suitable to be used for, say, a water bottle. It can alternatively be made to have weaker forces and thus having weaker bonds. In other words, being able to adjust the strength of the bonds allows the physical and chemical properties of the substance to be adjusted. Natural polymers, however, cannot be altered in the same way synthetic polymers can. These natural polymers are the way they are no matter what we do to them, for they cannot change. This starch, for example, always have this texture and consistency due to its weak intermolecular forces. Because of this, we humans have taken to creating our own synthetic 